Today I'm going to talk to you about how you can respectfully end a long-term relationship. About a year ago, I left a long-term relationship. We were together for five years. We lived together. Um, we were planning a future together. It was quite serious. And, you know, there basically came to a point where I realized that um, this relationship actually wasn't the best decision for either one of us. And um, while the breakup in itself was a mutual agreement, I was the one who brought up the discussion to um, kind of come to terms to end the relationship. In doing that, I was able to very successfully go about the actual breakup process extremely cordially and respectfully, and also doing it in a way that like maintained a very healthy relationship afterwards. I think coming from like you know especially like a brown background like people expect you to like hate one another and that's definitely not the case in my situation i truly um was able to navigate my breakup in a way that was like mutual beneficial and respectful in the end so if that sounds like something that's relevant to you at this point in your life keep watching this video and i can show you how the first thing that i need you to realize is that you need to have already made the decision that you're ready to move on from your relationship Please do not watch this if you're on the fence about breaking up with your partner or if you're still in that point where you're trying to decide if you want to continue the relationship or not. This video is specifically meant to help those who know they're ready to break up with their partner, know they're ready to move on from their partner, and want to do so in a way that is um, mutually respectful because of the time and investment that has been put into the relationship over the years. Once you have decided that, okay, this is it, this is... Um, the end of the chapter of the relationship it's very important that you set the tone at this point you should know your partner very well you probably know what their schedule looks like you probably know when they're in a good mood you probably know when you want to talk to them about something serious versus not my my formula or like the advice that i'm giving really only works for like mature <laughs> individuals and i don't mean that in like a shady way whatsoever but um the only re or one of the only reasons that i think that that um my breakup was able to go as smoothly as it did was because we were both so mature in our relationship and about the situation and um not only that like you know it did come in place from just like caring not only about like one another but about ourselves too and our well-being so that's kind of just like the space that we're at where um where this conversation had come from also, it's important to set the tone because chances are this isn't going to be a 10 minute conversation, or at least I hope it's not a 10 minute conversation. You know, you invested years into this relationship and um, I do believe that in order for you to have a respectful breakup, you should also be respectful of the time and the way and how you're going about this conversation with your future ex-partner. When I'm talking about setting the tone and I'm also talking about your mental state. Now, if you just got out of an argument, if you're still in that frenzy from that argument, that's probably not the best time to have this conversation because you're emotional, you're not gonna be thinking clearly and you're probably gonna say things that you either don't completely mean or you're probably gonna end up regretting. If you're trying to have a respectful breakup, don't do it when you're emotional or don't do it when you're angry, I should say. Of course, this is gonna be emotional. You're gonna be sad. Expect that, expect the tears, okay? Um, expect to be sad, but don't do this from an angry state of point, a state of mind. Now, anger is actually a secondary emotion. So once you've had the chance to process your anger, then go about this and really understand what emotions were lying behind that, underneath that anger, and um, that's where that vulnerability and that honesty is going to be coming from. And in order to do that, you need to know what your problems are. That is a key takeaway that I want you to understand like really know what your problems are when you address them to your partner because this will help you understand also why things aren't working out and chances are if you're having a hard time knowing what your problems are what is something that keeps repeating like because that is your problem whatever issue keeps repeating in your relationship whatever issue you keep finding that you guys can't work through together that is a problem in your relationship that is the reason you're breaking up and maybe there's more than one or maybe it's just one reason and if it is just one reason i want you to know that's still valid like you're allowed to move on from a relationship if something isn't fulfilling you emotionally in the way that you need it to and you're unable to like completely um move on from that you can choose to end the relationship because that part of you is unfulfilled okay just want you to know so once you've had the chance to really understand what your problems are in your relationship this will allow you to 
um, communicate that clearly with your partner so they know, you know, what it was that like were your reasons for leaving them. But it allows them to like also ask clarifying questions that allows you to like, you know, also ask whatever questions that you may have and kind of just move forward from there and have a conversation, like I said, around like, you know, why this isn't working out. And this is also why it's so important for you to be absolutely 100% sure that you're ready to end this relationship because this conversation isn't about you know like oh these are my problems let's see how you can fix it it's more like no these are our problems we've tried to fix it and you've shown me that it can't be fixed so that's why we're ending it does that make sense when you are speaking about your problems in your relationship i want to remind you to do it in a way that is non-confrontational because remember this is a conversation you are not attacking your soon-to-be ex you are having a conversation with them on as to why things aren't working out and that is really the key when it, like when you're going through a breakup and once you start attacking people that is when resentment anger all these emotions that's when that comes up and that's not what you're trying to do right we're trying to have a respectful breakup we're trying to have a conversation we're trying to be adults so think about that like you know you can critically tell someone that they're like you can call someone out on their wrongdoings without being disrespectful and with that my next point is if you are trying to have a respectful breakup if you're trying to have a conversation about this and if you are ready and willing to dish out your side be ready to take in on their side as well meaning have the ears and emotional capacity to understand that they're probably going to tell you some things that you have done to them that they don't like either and you know you can't sit there and take that offensively either if they're especially if they're doing it correctly like you know in the sense where like also being respectful also communicating maturely and um not attacking another reason that this is super valuable is because in that moment when they're telling you things that didn't go wrong or patterns that they noticed or things that like you know that um they were just able to like critically see from you as like the point of view of as a romantic partner um, I think all of that is good. I perceive that as like feedback, you know, this is feedback for me to know what went well and what didn't go well from like my perspective, um, like from what I was putting into my relationship and, you know, there's going to come to a point when you're probably ready to like, you know, go back into another serious relationship and these are the things that you could probably just have a mental note of what you need to work on and how to not bring those into your next relationship and carry those toxic traits into your next relationship if you have any. I think part of having an extremely respectful breakup is to also acknowledge the good. Again, this is also why number one is very important because if you're talking about your problems and you start reminiscing on the good, this isn't about like, you know, going back into your pattern of like, you know, getting back together or whatever the case is this is really about like i made my decision here is why here's what went really well here's what didn't but this is what it is also i just think it's good to acknowledge that you both put an effort into something that you invested so much time but not only that i think it also helps with like self-esteem and it helps with closure and it helps with reassurance for um the person on the other end you know if you're if you're the one breaking up or um, whatever the case is, like at least they, they, they know that like, you know, they did their best. Another major key factor that I think is super important is to say your apologies. You know, if you've had the time to truly reflect, you've also seen things that like, you know, maybe boundaries that you've crossed, things that like, you know, haven't always been well on whatever sides. Basically, I just think taking ownership for the things that didn't go well in, um, a long-term relationship can go a long way and it also just shows like a huge sign of maturity on like your end and um, how you're willing to end your relationship now this last part is completely optional but if you've done everything else and you know that like your conversation has ended really well um, I would say like you know make a toast to your relationship or like commemorate in some way like even if it's small um, that's actually something that my ex and I did we had a lunch and toasted to our relationship that's my last memory of that relationship like that's how i chose to remember to end like that's how i chose to remember how it ended and i think that's pretty good considering that you know obviously it didn't work out but there's a lot of good and there's no resentment there's no hate there's no bitterness there's no animosity like none of that you know and i think if that's important to you um then I hope this helps and I hope you like this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next week with another one.